Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Just gonna do a quick little video. I wanna do an update on this pollen feeder. It's been hanging out here. We've probably had, I don't know, as you can see, a bunch of rain. Uh, it's rained for probably two or three days. And as you can see, the pollen is still dry in the feeder. So that's a good thing. That means that you don't have to glue them. One of the uh, things that one of the guys that watched the channel, I'm not sure if it was on here or on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. One of the things he threw out there, he had built something pretty close to that and had used one of those end caps like I used. And he said one of the issues that he had was that the uh, bees would try to go to the other end and get out. So you might want to uh, paint that end cap this little piece right here black or put some tape over it or something like that to uh, cut the light out because that's what the bees are attracted to is that light uh, and then the other questions that I get is uh, how do you become a beekeeper so we're fixing to address those uh, those questions right now all right so you want to become a beekeeper the biggest thing you need to do before you decide to go out and buy bees or try to catch bees or anything else is to make 100% sure that you are not allergic to them. Now, some people think that they're allergic when they're really not. They just have a reaction to them. If you get stung and you swell up, that isn't a reaction. You are not allergic to the bees. If you get stung and you have to go to the emergency room because you can't breathe, you are allergic. When I first started beekeeping, I would get stung and I would swell up. I've been stung so many times now, I don't swell up anymore. Matter of fact, one of the worst times I ever got stung was trying to catch a swarm, which are normally not aggressive. Uh, I got eat up that day, probably about 40 times. Uh, I got stung three times on the side of my face. My face swelled up. This poor little eye was about like this right here. And then my hands were so uh, swollen, you barely could see that middle knuckle. But now I get stung and it's, there's nothing to it. Uh, so make sure you're not allergic to bees. Uh, you need to educate yourself on bees is number two. And uh, this is not a hobby that you want to go in blindly on. You want to know what's going on. Uh, and there's several ways of doing that. Uh, Every state has a beekeeping association. Most of your counties, parish, parishes, or whatever else you have in your state, most of the time, each one of those uh, parishes or counties, they actually have a beekeepers association. Some of them are big enough they have two. Uh, check with them, go to a meeting, it won't cost you a dime. Uh, go hang out with some other beekeepers. Uh, that's one way to do it. I went to a couple meetings of the one we have here. Uh, not a fan of beekeeping meetings, but <laughs> y'all go try it out. See if it's something you would like to do. Uh, take a class. I've took two classes through the community college here in Sampson County. Uh, I think they still offer that class. If you're in North Carolina and in Sampson County, uh, a lot of your beekeeping associations, uh, you can take classes through them. I've actually started kicking around the idea of maybe getting the certified beekeeper and maybe even go for my master beekeeping just to say I've got it. It really doesn't bring anything to your beekeeping other than you know more about the bees than just any regular person does. Uh, YouTube. There's a lot of good information on YouTube where you can learn about bees. There's also a lot of bad information out there because you the more you watch the videos, the more you can kind of cipher on who's full of it and who actually knows what they're doing. Uh, stay away from the my way or the highway beekeepers. There's a lot of beekeepers online that think that, you know, this is the only way to do stuff. And if you don't do it their way, then you don't know what you're doing. Uh, like the old saying goes, there's more than, way, more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to keep bees. Uh, three, you can either order packages, which is one of the things that I showed y'all on here. Uh, you can order nukes. Nukes is a nucleus colony. Most of the time you get five frame, 
five frames of uh, brood, pollen, and honey. They come in a little five frame box. Uh, some of the people you buy them from, they uh, supply them in cardboard nukes and you take them home or you take your equipment to where they're at. They'll show you the nuke, they'll show you the queen, show you she's laying and everything else. And they will take that nuke and put it in your box and you take them home. The advantage of a nuke is they're not already an established colony and chances of you having issues with them is a little bit lower. Now, of course, when you first start beekeeping, you're gonna to wanna to look at your bees and you'll probably end up rolling a queen. I've done that before. I was in my second or third year before I ever did it, but the more you look at your bees, the more chance you've got of uh, rolling a queen, but that's a whole nother ball game. Uh, Packages are cheaper. Uh, nukes, depending upon where you live at, can go anywhere from 120 bucks up to probably 200 and some change. It just depends on where you're at. Packages, you can order packages from California and they can ship them to the East Coast. Uh, they ship them through the mail. Those, uh, that video I did of the bee bus, they ship that through the mail. And when it comes in at the post office, your phone will be ringing because they don't like to keep bees at the post office. But uh, that's the way probably a lot of your beekeepers start. Uh, I'll look at some of my old videos and see if I've got some more package installation videos. I think I do. I think I do. But uh, that's three, four, you got to order your equipment. Now your equipment, you can spend as little or as much on it as you want. Now when I say little, I don't mean cheap. Beekeeping is an expensive hobby. And you're going to drop probably in your first year if you only do one hive which i suggest doing two you might get into beekeeping for maybe 500 bucks depending upon if you do a package or uh, uh, a nuke another way you can get into the beekeeping is catch a swarm uh, some areas swarms are not that hard to come by uh, if somebody, you know, you can put the word out that you're looking to catch a swarm and people might call you. Uh, swarm traps is another thing you could do. That's a whole nother video. Uh, but that's the easiest way or the cheapest way to get bees. Uh, some people go years trying to catch swarms and they never do. But uh, that's the, another cheap way to get into it. Uh, ordering your gear. You can order the beginner packages that come with gloves and hive tools and uh, some of them come with a single deep box with a medium honey super and queen excluders and just a whole bunch of stuff and some of your packages come with two hive bodies which is the deep hive bodies and then they come with a medium frame for a honey super and all that other good stuff you just have to kind of look around i'll see if there's a way i can post some links to uh some of the stuff that i'm talking about so y'all can look at it and see what you want but I mean, the packages vary depending upon what coat you get, uh, what kind of gloves you get can make it go up a little bit too. So, uh, I mean, that's the five biggest things to getting into beekeeping. Uh, so, I think that's about it to try to answer people's ways to get into beekeeping. The sun's sitting here behind me. I'm changed shifts now, so I get to work from five to five. So when I get home, it's about dark. But uh, I think that's it. If y'all got any more questions about getting into beekeeping, just leave them in the comments down there below. Uh, I try to answer all of those. And uh, I think that's about it. So hope y'all having a good week. We've cooled off here in North Carolina. We actually had snow flurries last night. So the bees ain't been flying. So, and there's Minnie. She's out here hanging out with daddy. So hope y'all doing good. If y'all got any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.